Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe and we're going to make some Huli Huli chicken. So let's get started. I'm going to get started with this Huli Huli chicken by making up our marinade and our baste. And I'm going to start that out with a half a cup of ketchup. We're going to add a half a cup of soy sauce and a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to add one quarter of a cup of rice vinegar. And then I've got some freshly grated ginger that I grated on my microplane grater. And I've got some uh, freshly minced garlic that I did the same way. So we're just going to stir that up until I get that completely combined and when I have that completely combined I'm gonna reserve about a half a cup of that that we can use to baste when we go to the grill I've got four rather decent size uh, chicken leg quarters here you can do this with any kind of chicken you want you could use boneless bone in pieces or whatever and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff these guys down in a one gallon ziploc bag and then I'm going to dump our sauce, our marinade, right into the bag. And I'll get this bag closed up, get most of the air out of it, and make sure that gets sealed up really well. And I'm just going to toss that around, get that chicken coated. And you want this to go for a minimum of about eight hours and up to about 24 hours so I'm gonna just throw this in the refrigerator gonna let it go overnight and I will toss it occasionally as I come by we're gonna set up the Kamado Joe Classic uh, to cook this chicken we're gonna set up over direct heat so I put a little bit of charcoal in there and I'm gonna put my cooking grates in the top position on the divide and conquer rack we don't want to cook down too close to the fire but I'm also going to hit this uh, grate with a little bit of cooking oil and I'll probably oil that again before we put our chicken on but what we're going to do is we're going to let that bed of coals form and get a nice hot bed of coals going there and then we'll be back to have a look at the chicken. I don't know what our dome temperature is going to be but we're just cooking over direct heat and we don't want it too terribly intense so we'll be back. Okay guys, I've got the grill nice and hot. I've got a nice hot bed of coals going there and I'm gonna give my grill grates a little extra cooking spray to help keep this chicken from sticking. So I'm just gonna put these bread or these leg quarters right on the grates. And I'm gonna let these cook here for probably seven or eight minutes uh, before we come back, give those guys a flip. Okay, it's time to give these guys a flip. And we're going to let these keep on cooking and I'm going to baste them a little bit here in just a minute with some of the retained sauce that we stuck aside. And after just a couple of more minutes, I'm going to turn these guys again. One of the things you want to do with this chicken is keep it turning. So we'll give it a few more minutes, come back and flip it again. And after a few more minutes, come back, give these guys another turn. Just keep the chicken moving. And as this chicken gets closer to being done, I'm going to move it around to the outside edge of the grill, a little bit away from the fire, and we'll let it continue to cook. And while we're at this point, I'm going to baste these with some of that sauce that we reserved when we made the sauce. And then we'll just close it back up and let them continue to cook. Okay, two of these guys are ready. I've already taken them off and I'm going to keep flipping these. These two are a little larger. They're taking a little bit longer to cook. I'm trying to get these guys up to about 175 degrees in the thick part of the thigh here and 
This one's ready, so the final one will be ready here momentarily. Okay guys, here you have it. I think I spent somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes on the grill total over high level direct heat with these leg quarters. As you can see, some of these are a little bigger than others. They take a little longer to cook, so you're going to want to use your instant read thermometer to keep up with these. And just baste them as you go. Turn them every five or six minutes. Uh, let that char form on there because that's part of what brings this wonderful flavor to this style of chicken. So give this a try and let me know what you think of my version of Huli Huli Chicken. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.